Hi guys, so today we've got the BM Creations Junior Isuzu D Max. Now this one is a scale model, which is an exact scale ornamental model for adult collectors, 14 plus. And this is made by BM Creations, a great company which makes some really nice die cast models in the recent times. Having a look around the box, we can see that here we can see it's written BMC style, all of that. This is in the orange red color and it's RHD. If we look at it from the top, it just it's written 164 die cast miniature car. And uh, this is a very, very rare model. And this color especially is one of the rarest ones because it was the launch color and it just sells out instantly. Uh, cost me a fortune to get this landed in India but I really hope that it's worth the price. Let's go ahead and unbox it. Obviously this part it comes sealed in a cellophane wrapping but it's always very nice to uh, just slice it from the sides and let the rest of the cellophane remain because that way the shine of the box it remains intact now when we take it out of this it's got its own blister packaging and over here in this blister we can see that we've got some accessories as well so here we've got uh, tires and if you can see there are not four but actually five tires so yes even the spare tire is provided and uh, then we'll definitely come on to the model so one very interesting thing which was pointed out to me by someone from the community was that as we can see over here between the tires there is actually a screw you can see the screw right there and there's a screw present. Now you may wonder that why exactly would you need a spare screw in a die cast model, right? So we'll just get to that in a bit and taking it out of the blister. I mean, if you look at the blister, it's really well made. They've given protection for the antenna and uh, then the spare is well accommodated. And then we've got the front bumper light. So these are actually removable if you... If you just have a look at it when we take it in our hands so this is the car what look what it looks like and uh, I mean the first time when you hold it in your hands it feels heavy it feels premium because it's a 100% metal die cast model the reason these cars are called die cast is because they're made from die cast metals and they are extremely premium and well detailed no matter how small they are and so this thing looking at it from the sides the replication of the wheels looks good the wheels look decent and uh, the doors they are actually openable although they have got shut windows so it's going to be a bit of a pain to open them we've got the 4x4 branding 4 into 4 branding on the side double cab looking good antenna also and the roof rail very well replicated in case you're curious about the external fog lamps i just want to show you that this part you see right here so over here there are a pair of uh, small uh, ports where you can insert this now i would certainly not try to do that on video because it's very very small and fragile but yes i mean when you have got the time you can surely try that the lights look good the headlamps are very well replicated the grill looks good the bumper looks great and overall the badging is very crystal clear then we come on to the rear of the car and the tail lamps are excellent yeah, we've got the badging which is very clear and a very nice feature even on a car of this size is that the tailgate opens so I mean yes you can uh, do some nice photography or if you have got a real car it's very close to the real thing to have an exact scale model which is licensed 
and has got openable parts in this size now that's something rare and then i was telling you about the spare screw right so that is uh, where this spare wheel comes in because they have given five wheels and uh, as we can see it is screwed on so that fifth wheel will actually be screwed on here and in case by any chance you misplace the screw so you can use that screw under body detailing it looks very nice they have actually given the necessary details you can see the exhaust from coming all the way from the engine and you've got bm creations written the scale which is accurate 164 i believe and isuzu d max which is the model of the car you've also got interchangeable tires which should be a fun thing to do when you've got more time on your hands the doors they are openable and uh, because of the fact that the windows are closed i mean it is very very difficult to open because there is literally no place to slide in your fingers or nails or anything when you try to open it but once it is open it looks extremely authentic and the mirrors are also very well replicated the side mirrors so nice silver touch and this is what it looks like with the open doors and we can just go ahead and open that tailgate so we've got the doors open we've got the tailgate opened and yep so i mean uh, if you are not a die cast collector you might not be aware that cars which are generally so small they do not have a lot of opening parts so the fact that this one has got doors plus tailgate it's a big bonus lends a lot of authenticity to the car and finally if we just have a take a peek at that at that interior because since it has got openable parts uh, we can just try to look into it and it's pretty basic nothing outstanding even the dials or the logos are not visible exactly but that's what these cars are i mean 64 scale you don't expect much and this is comparatively a budget casting if you look at it it is not a very very ultra premium casting that we can expect interior detailing so that was a basic review of the isuzu d max and oh yes uh, it has got a very nice suspension system if you can see right here so well that should be fun if you take it outdoor photography or something and the suspension travel is very decent for this scale and uh, it, uh, it's actually very sturdy so and the wheels roll very freely these are all things that uh, matter a lot to many collectors so glad to be able to incorporate it into this video and thank you so much for watching let me know what you guys think about it because this is a highly anticipated model especially in india where this truck is very popular and the model was not making its way to india it did come later but in extremely limited quantities so yes lucky to have got my hands on one and stay ready for the pictures